your DNA tells how many children you'll have, and when. Age, marriage status, and unprotected sex are not the only factors that determine when a couple has their first child. A new study from the University of Oxford suggests there is a small genetic factor as well plays a role. The study found 12 specific areas of a DNA sequence related to the age at which the first child was born, and the total number of children one have. This is the first study to identify specific areas of our DNA linked to reproductive behavior. Women with DNA variants for postponing parenthood also have bits of DNA code associated with later onset of menstruation and later menopause. The team found that DNA variants linked with childbearing age or associated with other reproduction and sexual development factors, such as the age when the voice breaks in boys, and the stage women experience their menopause. Genes may also predict the probability that a woman will remain child-free. The researchers analyzed information from 238,064 men and women for age at first birth and 330,000 men and women for the number of children they had. Published in the journal Nature Genetics on October 31, 2016. The researchers emphasized that the time that a couple has their first child and the number of children they eventually have is still largely influenced by societal and environmental factors. The researchers calculated that variants in the 12 areas of the DNA together predict less than one of the timing at which men and women have their first child and their total number of kids. Insights into the genetics help to answer questions such as how long a couple can wait before attempting to build a family. An improved understanding of the function of these genes provide new insights for infertility treatments. Thank you.